In this video, we will learn how to load OBJ model at one time in Unity, like so. Before we start uh, setting things to load model, we need to learn how to um, open and save files using the native standalone file browsers at one time in Unity. I've made a video earlier and I put the link in the description on how to do that. So please go and, and, and follow the steps in, in, in that video. And once you're done, you will wind up with a Unity project that's look like that with two scripts open file and save files and the, the, the settings here. And the video in the description will also show you how to download and set uh, the Unity standalone file browsers, uh, which is a free package that could be downloaded from uh, GitHub. In this tutorial, we need to download and set a, a free runtime OBJ importer package from the Unity Asset Store. Uh, it's by Dummies Man, and I put the link in the description. So this asset is a free. What what you need is to uh, log in or sign in from here. And once you sign in, you could add to my click add to my assets. Then in your Unity editor, go to Window, uh, Package Manager, and then select uh, My Assets and locate the OBJ importer, runtime OBJ importer. And if there is an option, uh, click Download. And once the download is finished, click Import and wait for the import to happen. Uh, and then uh, click Import again for all everything selected. And once that is done, you could see there is OBJ import folder in you uh, been added and it, it, you will have uh, some scripts and samples and so on. Go to edit and then project settings and select graphics and go all the way to uh, here, always include shaders. And so we need to add one. So it's six currently, I will add the number seven and press enter and you will see another duplicate has been added type standard and uh, sorry that, that's the one specular uh, setup so i'll select it and then we have it here so that is done and now select the main camera object and uh, make sure the position is all zero for x y and z and uh, f for the types of models i'm using for testing it works better for me to start seeing the model when it's imported at, at top of view for the rotation to be on the X 180 and on the Z 180 as well and Y is zero but it may differ so if, for your situation so feel free to play with the angles till you see it till you find something more convenient and uh, so that's for the rotation and um, the projection i'm having it as orthographic and uh, i will also change the col uh, the clear flags from skybox i'll select solid uh, color and i will just select a, a white color for uh, the background And um, last thing uh, for the uh, camera setting, just the clipping uh, plane, the near one, uh, whereas it is here, uh, I'll change that to minus 1000 just to give it a bit of space. And now we could open the uh, script from the previous tutorial that's in, in the description, and we will be working with open files. So, uh, which is linked into this uh, game object that's all mentioned in the previous uh, um, uh, tutorial. So I'll just double click it to open it. This is the code and I'll put a GitHub link uh, in the description where you could uh, download and use uh, the code. And I'll also put a link to the long version, a tutorial that go into details of this code. So if we save the file and open a Unity editor, and select the main camera, I'll just uh, change its rotation to something um, so, so we could see in, in ISO view. So I'll just change that to 245 
and the y to minus 40 and the z to 20 and if we click play and then open file select the model and you can see that you could see all the faces of the model which is a big model and it's the they are all visible and the good thing is also the the loading time is also decent thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this